one of the very important or the most important concept in java is variables as you know anything and everything in java is about object so every object needs to be referred where we had taken an example of a human human is an object world is an object a car is an object vehicle is an object any x or y z thing is an object so now this x object or y object needs to be stored certain right so what we do here is that we learn the concept of variable what are these variables or what variable does let us understand in detail here a variable is nothing but a piece of memory which allows you to store a data it can also be considered as a container a container what it does is that it allows you to store something in that container so variable is something that allows you you to store certain value in a memory now what kind of a value will you be able to store in this container what should be the size of this container needs to be decided in our daily life we can take an example of a liter of a water now this liter of a water will fit in what kind of a container whether it should be a small medium big and so on similarly it follows with variable where you need to decide what kind of a value will it be will it be an integer type or a string type or any other type and what memory size do you need that so every variable has certain data type associated with it which defines the size of this container or the memory so let us see in the syntax it says that we need to provide the data type we have already covered what are the data types available in java it may be an integer string type float decimal any type or it may also be array or strings or object reference for any of these you need to first provide what kind of a data it is that is the type of data then the variable name in our case of human where we have taken example every human has certain data and behavior this data may be what is the name of the human what is the age of human and so on so the age will be stored in a numeric data right so this numeric data will be stored in an int data type so we say the data type is int and then you give the name as age that age name what we have given you can give any name that you want x y z and so on and then followed with a semicolon so every variable ends with a semicolon this is how you define so what you have done you have just declared a variable called int age and then colon you can simultaneously initialize that variable also that is you can provide a value to that variable we say that age is equal to 30 then you need to provide int age equals to 30 and then semicolon where these spaces are nothing but white spaces and ignored by the compiler we have certain types of variables which defines where and what kind of a variable you can define under each method or classes so let us see them it says that we have three kinds of variables local instance and then static variable what each one of them uh, does is that local variable is nothing that you define under each method in our previous examples we have created variables under main method those variables are local to that particular method and they are accessible within them the next one is instance variables instance variables are declared inside the class but outside the method so in our example it will be the variables that are declared inside the class but outside the main method or any other methods that you define the next one is class or static variables what it says that any variable which has a static keyword are nothing but static variables so let us see in detail about each of these variables how we write how they operate or how it functions so let us see them in detail